Hello, my name is Ilahi Sohal and today I'm here to have your speaking test. So there will be three parts in speaking test. In part one, I will ask you some general questions. In second part, you will be given a cue card and you have to speak till two minutes continually. And in third part, some discussion questions will be asked to you. So shall we start? Yes, ma'am. Could you please tell, give me your passport? Yeah. Okay, so let's start. Tell me your name first. Well, my name is Ms. Khan. Where do you come from? I come from a small village named Solki near district Chalanda. Okay. Do you like to celebrate festivals? Yeah, I really like to celebrate a festival, but my favorite festival is Diwali. Okay. Uh, why you like Diwali festival? I really found out to celebrate Diwali festival with my family and friends and I also make some uh, sweets at home and celebrate uh, with my family. So that's why I like Diwali. Okay. Uh, is there any other uh, festival that is uh, celebrated enthusiastically by the people of your town? Yes, definitely there are other festivals which is celebrate in my country like Holi, Diwali, Dashera. And especially in the Punjabi, and most of people like to celebrate uh, Lodi festivals. Okay. What kind of uh, Western festivals are nowadays taking place in people's life in your country? Well, there are some festivals which are now adapt Indian people, like uh, Christmas, which is uh, uh, celebrating 25th December, and now it is celebrated in India. Okay, let's talk about birthday. Uh, do you like to celebrate your birthday? Yeah, definitely, yes. Uh, every people want to celebrate birthday and I am also really fond of to celebrate my birthday. Okay, so have you seen changes in the way you celebrated your birthday in the past and in the present? Well, uh, if I talk about in my uh, past time, I celebrate my birthday with my uh, family and I just cut the cake with my family member. But now I celebrate my birthday in a restaurant with my friends as well. Okay, so which was the uh, most interesting factor for you to celebrate your birthday? Well, uh, for me, uh, is most interesting factor for me uh, is uh, cut the cake with my family member because on that day, all my family and relatives, friends gather in one place and uh, uh, wishing me a lot and give me a blessing as well. Okay, now it's time to give you a cue card. And your cue card is you have to describe an unusual meal that you had. When did you eat it? Where did you eat it? With whom you had the meal? Why do you think it was unusual? So here's the paper and pencil and your one minute starts now. start well uh, food is most basic necessity of survival of human beings and i also really wanted to taste new variety of food whenever i get a chance and here i'm going to talk about the unusual and unforgettable meal which i ate uh, which i ate uh, two years ago when me and my friend aman uh, were to shimla uh, were going to shimla to visit my uh, to enjoy my summer vacation most of people prefer to visit in Shimla during their summer vacation to enjoy their uh, holidays as well because there is a lot of hill station and tourist attraction are available and uh, when I visit it was a eight hour long journey and we were hungry since morning so we decided to take a lunch in a restaurant when I checked the menu card I found all variety of new traditional meal of Shimla and out to all of these me and my friend aman decided to order a carrot pudding honestly speaking i ate uh, rice pudding many times but carrot pudding was a new experience for both of us after a few uh, after a few minutes we got our meal without any uh, waiting and uh, moreover it was decorated with the chevron and the dry fruit on the top of it furthermore uh, it, it was in bright red color and when I took a first bite of it, I got amazed with the taste because it was far beyond taster than my expectation. 
in addition to this it was full of nutrition and it was prepared with the crushed carrot jaggery and dry fruit which is really beneficial for our health uh, carrot pudding was a amazing experience for me and i also appreciate the waiter to serve me this mouth washing meals after that i uh, learn from this uh, recipe from youtube tutorial whenever i uh, want to eat dessert at home i always prepare this meal at my home so this is an unforgettable meal which i had all right let's move to discussion part what kind of foods are quite popular among people in your country well in my country india uh, most people prefer to eat junk food in the younger generation and uh, foods are different from different uh, different state of my india like uh, in the punjabi mostly people prefer to eat uh, uh, chapati and saag so uh, if i talk about the gujarati they mostly prefer to eat uh, dhokla and which is really famous in uh, india so i think it's different from culture to culture do you think with the advent of westernization the food of your country the traditional food of your country is reducing day by day well i think uh, to some extent it is changing day by day because uh, uh, mostly young generation adapted western foods like burger pizza noodles so they forget their uh, traditional food as well so uh, i think uh, uh, traditional food is quite boring for them and they want to change their taste as well uh, do the trend of uh, traditional food is also diminishing among older people or uh, they like traditional food well uh, older people like to eat uh, traditional food as well because they are touched to their uh, food and culture so they don't want to taste uh, uh, new food because it is was full of spices which is not uh, good for their health so they prefer to eat uh, traditional food okay could you please differentiate the food of poor people and uh, rich people well um, poor people mostly prefer to eat uh, homemade food and they ma uh, made fo food at home and uh, they make food like chapatis cheese based uh, sabjis and uh, and uh, richest people prefer to eat uh, outside in a restaurants uh, and they uh, eat uh, burger and some uh, other western food as well okay whose food you think is more healthy poor people's food or rich people's food uh, poor people food is mostly i prefer that it is very healthy for their health because it is homemade food and they use spices and ingredients as according to their health so uh, it is really beneficial for their health then how uh, rich people are more healthier as compared to poor people if their food is healthy because uh, uh, rich people are more considered to their health and they have enough money to meditation for and they get medi uh, medicine which is really expensive and uh, they uh, stay fit as fiddle and um, do some exercises apart from the food that's great thank you that's all about your speech